Hey guys, what's going on? It's Daily Gaming here, and I am back with my top five favorite strategy games of all time. Now, a couple of these games are actually just a series, and I'll mention my favorite game of the series, but I couldn't just pick one game to represent the entire series for a couple of these, because a lot of them could be good, so I'll go over that more in depth in those particular scenarios. Now, please remember that this is my personal opinion, and it may differ from yours or other people's. Let's not get our tights in a wad. If you do have a differing opinion, I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. Alright guys, let's get into it. Starting off at number 5, we have the Age of Empires series. This is a real-time strategy game, with different games being based in different settings and time periods. Every time you play promises an entirely different experience. The AI is extremely smart, but not unfair, and it's honestly some of the best I've ever seen. Uh, my favorite title in this series is Age of Empires 2, which got an HD reboot recently, and it looks really, really nice. Uh, Age of Empires 4 was recently announced as well, uh, and the release date is also to be announced, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I mean, come on, it's going to be great. It's an Age of Empires game. Next up at number 4, we have the Men of War series. This is a real-time strategy game traditionally based in World War II. Huge unit variety allows for many, many play styles. Each game is going to be completely different based on your opponent, or if you're just playing the single player based on the mission. Uh, the competitive gameplay gets extremely intense. I get really personally heated in these games, and it ends up being really fun, and by the end you're just exhausted, but you've had such a great time. Uh, the editor allows for in infinite customization, uh, along with the tons and tons of mods and active community members who are making maps for this. Really, the sky's the limit for this game. It's really, really great. Uh, I do have a top 10 mods for Men of War Assault Squad 2 video if you'd like to check that out. Uh, but, you know, be careful with this franchise because not every game is great. Uh, some of the losers include Men of War Condemned Heroes, Men of War Vietnam, Call to Arms. They're just not good games. Uh, but some of my favorites are the original Men of War, Men of War Red Tide, and Men of War Assault Squad 2. Definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a new World War II strategy game. Next off at number 3, we have Company of Heroes 1 and 2. Another real-time strategy game based in World War II is very similar to Men of War, but with more base building and less micromanaging. Uh, the campaign is extremely entertaining. I have had a great time playing both the first and the second one. Uh, you get really quickly invested in this campaign. Uh, you can spend hours playing it. Uh, it also has fun multiplayer as well. But at this point, it's not very noob-friendly. There are some noobs playing, but the people you're going to be playing with, I've found out, know all the game mechanics, know the secrets, so it's kind of hard to get into the multiplayer right off the bat. I recommend going through the campaign first. You really can't go wrong with either Company of Heroes 1 or 2, uh, but generally, I prefer Company of Heroes 1, to be honest. But 2 is great, too. Like, uh, you can't go wrong. Coming up at number 2 is Hearts of Iron 4. I've never played the other Hearts of Iron games, but 4 is one of my favorite games of all time. That's why the series isn't on this list, but the individual game is instead. I'm sure Hearts of Iron 3 and below are equally as good, I just never got around to playing them. Hearts of Iron is a grand scale World War II game. You can play as almost any country in the world and make crucial decisions leading up to and during the deadliest war in our history. Uh, now, you can play with tons of friends and work together or against each other as separate countries. There are pretty much infinite possibilities in playstyles as well. Uh, you're able to stick directly to history, or you can rewrite it. Um, you know, you can make a democratic Soviet Union, or you can make a communist USA. It's, it's really unique in the fact that you can completely rewrite history and that the AI will pretty much go along with you and act in the way that they would in reality. I've sunk hundreds of hours into this game, uh, and I'm sure you will be able to too if you get into it. There is a bit of a learning curve, but you know, just watch a tutorial. They're like 30 minutes online. It's not that big of an investment, and there are some great ones out there. And finally, guys, at number one, we have the Total War series. This is a strangely simultaneously turn-based and real-time strategy series. Uh, 
there is the campaign in which you do turn-based you know, management of your castles and your armies. And then the real-time strategy series is when you engage with other armies and fight them. Now, there are many historical games spanning over many, many different eras in this series. For example, uh, Napoleon Total War is obviously during the life of Napoleon, so early 1800s. Uh, you know, you got Empire Total War, which is during the era of colonialism. And so there's so much variety in the different games, and if you buy one, you're going to have a great time in that era, and if you get bored of it, uh, you can get another one, although that does get a little bit pricey. But there's mods, too. You know, there's the Game of Thrones mod, there is Star Wars mods in certain ones, there's World War I mods, it's really great. Uh, now, there are huge battles within the real-time strategy part with a good combination of historical accuracy and fun gameplay, so it really balances that out for the hardcore historical fans as well as people who are just looking to have a good time. Campaign management is fantastic, with amazing battles spiced in to keep it from getting too stale in the campaign map, you know? Uh, you can auto-resolve battles if the real-time strategy thing is just not your thing, but to be fair, you know, it's a little one-sided towards the AI when you could probably do better if you actually went and fought it. The newer games are becoming more arcadey, I found. Uh, you know, the battles are shorter, and it's more or less like who has more troops will immediately win. But the older games are freaking amazing. They're long, drawn-out battles. Uh, it, I mean, if you want them to be, if you want to be really strategic, you can draw them out pretty fast, or you can just rush all your troops in immediately. Uh, either way, arcadey or not, the games are still good, I've found. They're pretty amazing. Uh, so some of my favorites from the series are Medieval 2 Total War. That one is fantastic. I really want them to make a Medieval 3. I think a lot of people do. There's a great mod for it, though, and it pretty much boosts the graphics. I think it's on Attila Total War, where it boosts the graphics and makes, uh, you know, feudal knights and things like that uh, as a mod. Then also, Napoleon Total War is a lot of fun. Huge line battles are amazing. I really like the campaign management in that as well, because it's very simple. Rome 1, I played hundreds of hours of that as a kid. Uh, that was one of the first video games I ever bought for PC, and still holds up today as a great game. And my all-time favorite is Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai. Shogun 2 is good as a game itself, but Fall of the Samurai really ramps it up. Uh, it's got guns, it's got still some of the feudal system, like katanas and things like that. All around, the combination of the two makes for an epic game and a super, super fun campaign. Either way, guys, I think the Total War series is just such a phenomenal, phenomenal series. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you do, because it's just so fun. You can't really go wrong with any of the games in this series, though. Uh, just to recap, Age of Empires, Men of War, Company of Heroes, Hearts of Iron, Total War. It was really hard to put these in a specific place, because all of them are so near and dear to my heart, and I've had so much fun playing pretty much all of them. So, yeah, if you're looking for a new strategy game, I highly recommend going and checking those out. Now, just to take care of a couple business things, my Discord is in the description if you'd like to go ahead and join. I chat with you guys almost every day on there, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, also, my Twitter, my Patreon, my Steam group, they're all in the description if you'd like to check those out. I'd really love to hear what your top 10 or top 5, whatever top, your favorite strategy games are. Tell me down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.